Hey yo, what's up? What's up? Happy New Year! Starting the new year off with a car video from Raw. Yeah, yo. Coming soon! The first annual self improvement summit. Sponsored by Sea Boogie Productions. Yeah, yo. Hey, right, look, I want y'all to check that link in the description box. The first link. Check out the promo for that joint. And also, uh, just uh, check out the promo for that joint. And uh, um, you know, hit C Boogie up so you can uh, get tickets for it. I'm going to tell you now, that joint going to sell out quick. That joint going to sell out quick. Now, it's going to be down in D.C., now, check out the lineup for that joint. Check out the lineup. You're going to have C Boogie, first of all. Just C Boogie by himself. That, that, that joint will be awesome. Then you're going to get uh, Cousin T-Tall. Cousin T-Tall. Come on, now. Shoot. So, shoot. That's two, man. That's two brothers right there. Shoot. That's going to... That's going to blow people away, man. Just the knowledge. You, you just... All you have to do is go there... Sit down and just soak up the knowledge that's up in that joint, right? Good googling muggly bubbling brown sugar. <clears throat> yeah, and this weather messing with me, but man, that joint though. Oh my goodness, that man. Let me straighten the, let me straighten out this camera. <laughs> man. Oh, and then you wanna get uh C Douglas up in there. Now that brother, y'all shit. Like, when he co-signed on one of my comp, uh, uh, videos or something, I say, okay, I know I'm in the right direction. That dude just got insight. That dude just got gang. I know him from some panels and stuff, man. That dude ain't no joke. Dang, that, man, that's three people right there, man. Oh, snap. Guess who the fourth one is? Yours truly. Shoot, I'm going to be down there. Be down there in D.C. Shoot. Man, this self-improvement summit is going to be the bomb, y'all. Man, look, y'all better get in on it. Don't be trying to wait till the last minute because this joint going to probably be sold out in a week. No joke. And trust me, I know where the venue is. And I'll let see Boogie tell you that. But I know where it is. I was like, I even told the brother. I said, man, you know how much play I got in that neighborhood? <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, y'all. Y'all got to sign up for that joint. Like I said, check it out. Get up in there. Get up in there. See Boogie. Cousin t Tall, See Douglas. And Uncle Ron. And see, y'all don't know since... Hey, I'm going to tell you what, though. See, I cut... You know, I really got started not on YouTube. I got started before YouTube. I was doing crowds. And I'd be in crowds talking shit. I'd be... And I'd be right there. It wouldn't be one of those things where, you know, if you had a problem or you had a disagreement with me, you know, you could just hide behind a screen or something. If I'd shoot, when I was talking and I had something to say, good, bad, whatever, I'm looking you right in the eye. And see, y'all might not get, uh, you know, y'all might not get like, you know, just a, you know, podcast run or even car run. Shoot, Uncle Ron or even Professor Ron. Depending on the flow, you might get Rami Yo. Rami Yo don't play with your motherfuckers. Shit. That's how I was, actually how I talk most of the time. But see, I was that dude. Yeah, I could do Rami Yo, but then I could do Professor Rom, hang out with some bourgeois motherfuckers. But yeah, y'all gotta check that out, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. And you know, the new year starting out good, man, because uh, well, that's one of the things. Um, 2020. And I was going to do some stuff anyway. I got somebody else uh, want me to uh, get some. I got a couple things coming out in 2020 already. couple things. Yeah, I'm going to see Rom on the silver screen. But, yeah, I got a bunch of stuff because about taking it to another level. Because, see, it's one thing to do videos. It's one thing to do videos or podcasts and everything, but it's another thing taking it to the motherfucking streets. Seriously. Like at any time for any reason, I'll take it to the streets. Anything I say right here in the car, 
Anything I say in a podcast, or I go even harder when I'm in person. I go even harder. Like, I'm actually nice on here. I ain't nice about it. But, you know, at this joint, it's all about self-improvement, man. Y'all come there. Y'all, gotta be, y'all can't be arguing about that shit. You're paying that money. Shoot, you got four brothers telling you how to self-improve, so you need to get to that shit. So, yeah. So, yeah, check it out. But, um, yeah, otherwise, it's a good day today. You know, I had to get to the gym. Thrown off a little bit because they opened a little late, but man, and it was just working back today. But man, that was a that was a good thing. That was that was a good day, man. You know, started deadlifting again, but I started off slow. I started off slow. I wasn't going to like kill myself. Just did two twenty five. I hadn't deadlifted since like shit, probably late eighties. If I did it. <laughs> So, doing a bunch of stuff. Did uh, some dumbbell rows on the bench. I'm going to tell you what. You know, it's funny, right? Because, you know, I get some detractor or something. And people talking to me like, oh, you're old or old or something. Yeah, but this old motherfucker can do a dumbbell row with 100-pound dumbbells in one hand. So, if you got anything to say about rum, you need to at least be physically strong. But that was just, and I was just like, take my drink. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you, though, now I like really uh, lifting and stuff. That's why I like the gym. That's one thing about the gym and stuff. Because that, that's a problem. Because I had said I challenged myself to lose 30 pounds just for something to do by my birthday. But part of that, I would have to, like, maybe cut down how much I lift. And I like lifting. I like the feeling of throwing up like 275 to 300 on the bench, you know, or doing dumbbell rows or, you know, doing all that weight on something. I love the feeling because it's a feeling of power. As you walk through the world, shit, you know, you know, nobody can really mess with you because I don't show y'all the fighting stances I do. So, you know, it's a uh, feel power. And, you know, that's always been my thing. Always, always, always. About power, real power. And that power ain't just in money. The money thing, oh, the money thing is great. The money thing. Like I said, like, my thing has never been don't make money. I just say don't use it to, uh, you know, don't have it in your hand when you're approaching women. But having it just to do what you want to do, move on your thing, please. And I might be talking about some of that at this thing, just uh, hitting the gym, lifting, doing that shit for power, just the feeling you get, knowing you can walk into something, and whether it's a physical thing or a mental thing, you know, it's getting knowledge, having knowledge and shit, and how, how to handle that, that's good, that's self-improvement. Like, if you're talking about self-improvement overall, if you're talking about self-improvement overall, that has to be on all levels. That just can't be just on a physical thing. I know I'm known for talking about the body game, but if you read my books, I'm telling you the books as well. I'm telling you to like learn some stuff, learn some ideas, you know, fight your fears. Like a lot of people hit me up privately and they say they have a fear of this and fear of that. And they can all say, I tell them the same thing. You got to face it. You got to face it. If you got a fear of approaching women, approach women. If you got a fear of uh, saying something to a beautiful woman, you got to say it, you know. If you got a fear of dudes treating you a certain way, if you say something, you got to get in their face. Hey, one dude hit me up. He said, yeah, because he looked like, you know, kind of a, a laid back, nice type of guy and stuff. Some thugs in his neighborhood be uh, looking at him a certain way. But he did say he'd be looking them back. I'm like, yeah, that's right. You know. Because in that situation, for dudes who deal with that situation, the way you deal with that is you say, yeah, you can look. But uh, I'll just say like this. You got to give them a look that if they know if they mess with you, they don't know they've been in a fight. And that's just one example. That's just one example. Anything, man. It could be a fear of uh, getting into a certain business that you might be good at. A lot of people or fear of writing a book or writing a song. Anything. And that's what self-improvement really is. Self-improvement ultimately is being your best self. It's bigger than just getting some pussy. It's bigger than making money. It's in 
is being able to move through a life with authority on whatever the fuck you want to do. Alright? That's why I'm, a, I'm big on it. I'm big on it. And, you know, and I'm so big on it. Shoot, I have a public, de public debate with anybody who got a problem with any of that. Public. Fuck that shit. We take this shit to the streets. So, anyway, right? I need y'all to check that. Look, get it now. Get it now. I'm telling y'all, y'all need to hit C Boogie up. Go, go through the link. See what email he puts out for you to contact. Hit him up now. Hit him up now. And I'm, I'm serious. Hit him up now. Because, I mean, you're talking about those four. Shoot. The knowledge and power there? Shoot. I'm going to tell you what, man. With those four there, if that shit was presented to some upper middle class folks, right? Upper middle class folks. And we said it's a thousand dollars a piece. We could we could have a hundred seats, say it's a thousand dollars a piece, and tell some millionaires and all that. Man, they sell that shit out. It'd be beforehand. Had to do a part two. So y'all y'all hit that dude up now, because you know when people really who go through life, who really be kicking ass, they don't be sitting around just complaining and all of that. They will they they hit the seminars. They hit the webinars. They, uh, you know, they go to the stuff where they can learn something. You know, the books on this shelf ain't about, like, some bullshit or what some celebrities are doing. And they really they ain't even talking about, you know, what's happening in the community like that. They ain't or crying or whatever. Shoot, they be saying self-improvement, self-improvement. You know, how they improve the person out of everything. And they, shit. Like, that whole motivational area, personal development, that shit, that's big business. So y'all need to hit this shit up now. Hit it now. Alright? So anyway, right? That's all I got for today. I gotta go get me some food. And go home. I gotta cut my son's hair today. People don't know. I could, I'm actually an amateur barber. I'm gonna say amateur. So don't hit me up trying to get something. So I'll be hooking up my son's fading him up and stuff. And so anyway. But... I'll get back with y'all later, man. Peace and many blessings.